but it's a it's a fine line you want to walk because you, if you get after it and expose yourself in the back, then it's just one of those give and takes. So I think they're both going to try and win the ball back quickly so that they don't have to work the ball up so far and, the, and they can be a little bit more aggressive on the attack. Aggression on the attack. You find that here. Noah Lopez gets the goal. He floated that one over <laughs> Wenzel and the Highlanders strike first here in Riverside <laughs> in the fifth minute. Right on cue. <laughs> Scored first. <laughs> Hernandez momentarily dispossessed, now with it again. Finding Brendan Clark. That's in the back of the net. What a pass from Polo Hernandez. <laughs> that that developed so slow, it looked like. And and even that pass across didn't, didn't seem harmless. Those two have been doing it all season long for UC Riverside. Take another look. Yeah, just where you put it. Millimeter precision there from Brendan Clark. And he didn't blast it, but he got it right in the right spot. There's another goal. <laughs> and there's the cherry on top. That Ibarra is with the brace. Really, really well done. Really well taken. What a way to come off the bench with a couple goals. To show you an example of Tim Capello's mastery this season. Armando Ibarra had zero goals coming into <laughs> tonight's action. He's got two tonight. Two big ones. Two big ones. He was just saving them up. That'll all but do it here from UC Riverside. Once again, the Highlander is able to score Four goals in the match. That's the fourth time they've done that this season. That's amazing. This this sport's difficult enough to score, and they, they've done that a few times. That's that's great. Well, this this game, this 90-minute ride, man, been amazing. The the ability for UCR to, to score four goals, and and usually teams that score that much, they're they're pretty open, and they're going to take a lot of maybe take a lot of goals or at least a lot of chances. They didn't give a lot of chances tonight. They did a really good job staying organized, but being really aggressive on the attack at the same time. Armando Ibarra with the brace tonight for UC Riverside. And the countdown commences. That'll do it here in Riverside. The Highlanders advance they're going to the finals against either the Ant Eaters or the Gauchos, and they're tied 1-1 in the 90th minute. They're in Santa Barbara. Coach, what are your final thoughts here tonight? Well, semifinal game, took a loss during season. Call it revenge, call it what you want, but semifinal games, it doesn't matter what happened in the season, and, and I thought... Uh, the way UCR played the game tonight was was organized. They they stuck to their plan and they dealt with CSUN's strengths, which was which was the counterattack and 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 dealing with Ricketts and Reed. I thought they solved that problem, and that's kind of how the game turned out. You know, solve those two, and and you're going to get your goals because UCR has got four players that are that are a problem on the attack. Tim Capello the winningest coach in UC Riverside men's soccer program history gets another one here tonight. He's got a fantastic assistant coaching staff, Chris Volk, Odulo Locera, and Eric Gonzalez, who all deserve a ton of credit. And the Highlanders put up another four spot here in Riverside and win this one in dramatic fashion.